Good morning, everybody. It's 7.30 right now. Um, it's not even cold. Like, this is nice. Living in your car in California is not that bad. Yeah, we're definitely on an incline like this. So I'm just like rolling into the back of my seat right here. Let's go get some breakfast at McDonald's. We have to let all of my breath like evaporate from the inside of the windshield first. Like just look at how nice it is out here in the mornings. I still can't see out of my windshield. We still need to go real slow. This place is just gorgeous. Here we are, McDonald's. This is another one of those McDonald's that I've spent a lot of time in their parking lot, but I've never actually been inside. That means this is a historic moment. Oh, it's honestly pretty nice. Oh, I take that back. They have the same deal here, where we can get two chicken McGriddles for $2 each. I'm gonna go get my tablet from my car. I need to download more stuff to watch. I don't watch a lot of like TV shows or Netflix or anything, but I watch a bunch of YouTube. This costs $5.69. It's just two McGriddles. I read in the comments of my video that you guys watching me eat this all the time has made you guys go out and start eating chicken McGriddles. And apparently you guys are getting addicted to them too. They are just that good. As these videos get longer, the more and more time it takes me sitting here at McDonald's while I try to edit them, upload them, and then watch them with you guys. I've been here since seven o'clock. It's already like 9.30. I'm probably gonna not get out of here until noon-ish. Yeah, it's 10.30. I did find the code though. Seven, eight, nine. For anybody that's in data point, that's the code. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not sure what I want to do today. It's a Saturday, it's really bright outside, it's nice. I think I want to go to the beach and read. I haven't read in a couple weeks, actually. I think that's what we're gonna do. You've gotta be kidding me, I killed my car battery. It won't even, it won't even start. And see, my car is really weird. Um, when the car battery dies, I can't pull my key out. I'm not entirely sure why it does this, but now my key is stuck in here. Let's see if I can open my trunk. Nope, because my key is stuck in my ignition. Oh wait, haha, I was able to get it out. Okay, let me show you what happens when you're in a situation where your car battery dies. Somebody who commented in one of my earlier videos that I'm basically a clown car with all of the gadgets you could imagine. Here is another one of those gadgets. This is a jump starter, a battery jump starter. We are gonna go jump start my car. Your car battery will typically have two ports, red and black. It might be on the side of the battery, it might be on top, but that's what you're gonna connect these to. There is also the option, your car will probably have something that looks like this, like a red spot. You can also connect your jump starter to this. That's what we're gonna do. We are going to plug the cables into the battery pack. They're keyed so that they can only go in one direction and you can't accidentally fuck that up. Red clips onto red, and then black clips onto black. And then we just turn it on. Yep, it's got the green light, there we go. I'm gonna move this off so that when the engine starts it doesn't like, yeah. Get the keys from the trunk. There we go. Now we just gotta let this run for a little bit. Another really nifty feature that this thing has, in addition to being a jump starter, is it's also an air compressor, so we can pump up our tires while we're here. There we go, now we're just gonna do that to all four of them. There we go. 
It's super easy. Back when I was a full-time TikToker, the company that makes this, they actually sent me this for review. And I think the fact that I'm still using it today is a good endorsement. It's just also a really nifty tool to have in your car in case something like this happens. We need to drive around a bit just to make sure that my battery is charged up. So I guess the beach is probably out for the day, but there is another spot that I want to go. It's called Laguna Nagal. God damn it, what happened? Fuck. I think I forgot to close this, God damn it. Okay, let me park and... One of the really cool things about diet drinks like this is there's like no sugar in them. There's nothing sweet. It's almost entirely water. So this will evaporate and it won't even be sticky. Diet drinks for the win. See, look at that. It's almost completely evaporated and there is no residue at all. Diet drinks are great. Okay, here we are. This parking spot, if you guys will remember back in my TikTok days uh, when I lost $20,000 doing an iron condor on AMD, this is where it happened. I lost $20,000 right here. This is just a nostalgic spot for me. While we're here, I think we are going to set up, be quiet. I think we're gonna set up a solar panel. Then we'll take the cable and snake it down into the cabin of the car. And plug it in. Golden. We should also cover this thing up with that reflective uh, thing that we have. I don't know what to call it. This thing just helps keep the car cooler because it is pretty hot in here. There we go. And I've got the reflective side on the back end so it should shoot all of that like heat back out while we're getting solar panel stuff from the top. I think I'm gonna look into getting like an Amazon affiliate marketing thing just so I can show you guys all of these products like a battery pack that you can just plug a solar panel into the solar panels, fans, like all of the stuff that I use in my car just so you guys can find one place, just go click everything and do it. Like just getting a list together of all of the little gizmos that I use to be able to live like this in one place so you guys can just click on everything and take the things that you need. I think I am starting to get a sunburn. My neck feels a little bit raw. Lastly, we take this thing down. We take the fan with the little hooky things, hook that on. Look at that. And because there's a McDonald's right in front of us, look at the Wi-Fi speeds I'm getting. I'm getting over a hundred down just in the parking lot right here. Oh, and check this out. The cable that I'm using to charge up this battery pack is long enough to where I can roll the window up, lock the doors, and still be charging my battery. I still do need to worry about the solar panel over there getting like stolen or whatever, but I think I'm happy with this. Honestly, the solar panel is more of like a, a curiosity or just like a toy because there is a McDonald's right there that we can just go into and charge our stuff up with. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm still gonna leave this up though. I paid $70 for that solar panel. I wanna get my money's worth out of it. Even if I don't need it, I want to use it. Yeah, this is what the car looks like on the outside. Oh, maybe there's no outlets here. I guess the solar panel was a good idea. I am using my uh, rewards points for McDonald's to get a free coffee. I still have this coupon that they gave me that'll give me a free order of medium fries. We're gonna go try to use this. Hello, so I got this little coupon thing from uh, McDonald's down in San Clemente. I'm not sure if you guys order that. Um, it's for a free order of medium fries. Yeah. Oh, cool. Should be all right. And then this is the coffee. Yeah, so we got a free coffee and free fries. Oh, it's cool. yeah, here you go. Oh, cool. These are the medium fries. Yep, yeah, cool. Thank you. Here we go. What we're doing right now is planning for Vienna. I've got a lot of content that I want to do, so I'm actually just laying everything out, getting it sort of written down. So once I get there, I'm not just trying to play it by ear. I've actually got like a set schedule of when I want everything to be released. Now look at that, the solar panel is untouched. Cool, cool, cool. I am uh, looking at my electrical system right here and I'm noticing that none of my devices are powering on. It seems like this is not getting electricity. Let's take a look at the wiring back here. Um, that should not be black. Uh, I think some of my wires are getting burned. We're gonna unplug all of these things and then take a look, see how everything is looking. See if any of the other wires are burnt. It looks like it's just that one, the one that connects everything to ground. 
Okay, after rearranging the wires, this is getting power now. So it seems like it's something to do with this switch. It might be that I had too much current running through there and something uh, melted. We should probably go check the fuse panel in the trunk. Okay, so we have the fuse box right here. I don't see any lights glowing on it, so I don't think the fuse has popped. See, check this out. I'm gonna pull one of these fuses out and you can see the light turns on saying that the fuse is no longer working properly. So it looks like all of the electricity is going through properly. We didn't blow anything. Something to look out for, I guess. While we have this guy here, I'm gonna take the razor blade that we were using earlier. I'm gonna go cut it open and see what the damage is. <laughs> on these wires, they've got like this blue plastic sheathing. We're gonna cut that off so we can take a look at the wire underneath it. This is typically used to prevent wires from shorting out, but I'm not so worried about it because this is a ground wire. If this was a red hot wire, I would definitely keep this thing sheathed. Yeah, the metal underneath it looks fine. It's just the blue plastic that got burned. But this bottom part still isn't lighting up, which means that this circuit doesn't have power to it. Let's go back to the trunk. I gotta do more diagnostics. So one of the things, I might've mentioned this to you guys, I might not have, but my system has two voltages. This is a 12 volt battery, but in the back here, I have a boost converter. This, this thing right here takes this up to 12 volts and sends it to the back. I think that this guy is failing because it's not actually giving power to the... Well, that would do it. Found the problem. So this is Nate from the future right now. I'm editing this video and I realized that I didn't explain quite well enough why I am using a 24 volt boost converter. So I want to explain that here. As I mentioned, this metal piece right here, this, this component, takes the 12 volts from this battery and it doubles it to 24 volts before it sends it back. The reason that's useful is because of this right here. This right here is USB-C. USB-C is what powers things like your phone and your laptop, but it can go up to 100 watts. 100 watts is a lot of power. But if we think about it in terms of the voltage from this 12 volt battery, at 12 volts, that means to be able to get 100 watts from this, we would need to be pumping eight amps through this. Eight amps is a lot. It's enough to like melt metal. Pumping eight amps through this thing gets really hot. What this does is it doubles the voltage to 24, which means we can cut the amperage in half. So this thing only needs four amps. With this boost converter, this guy is only getting four amps, which is perfectly fine. You can touch it, it's not too hot. This gets hot though. This still takes that heat. I'm not actually getting rid of that heat. I'm just transferring it from the electronics in my cabin to this piece of metal right here. If you look at it, you'll see it's got these big heat sinks. It's perfectly capable of getting hot and dissipating that heat. This guy doesn't have heat sinks. It can't get hot, otherwise it will fry. That's my really long-winded way of saying that I installed this boost converter so that the things in my cabin don't get hot, it gets hot instead, and then it's able to dissipate that. <sighs> Regretfully, this means we have more electrical work to do, which means we go into the trunk, we pull out our little box of electrical gizmos and gadgets, and we need to build another connector. This yellow wire is supposed to be inside this blue connector, but I didn't crimp it well enough, so all of the wires, they slipped out. I need to take another one of these blue things, I need to crimp it onto this yellow guy, but better. Gotta stay caffeinated. <laughs> okay, come through here. I think that the part that we're looking for is this guy. I think that this is one of the things that we're gonna need. Let me pull the old one out. Okay, after looking at it, I think I'm just gonna try to reuse the existing crimp in here, open it up again, and then crimp it down better. I don't think I need to use a new one. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys exactly what I'm doing because I sort of need two hands to make this work. I will try though. I will do some gymnastics over here to make sure that you guys can see what I'm working on. So first we need to open this piece up. Update, I've decided fuck it, we're not recycling that. We're just going to get a new piece. Good god, I spent way too much time trying to play with that. So what we do is we take the old wire and we take the new piece and we stick it inside like this. If it'll go inside, there we go, yep. Now we just need to crimp this down so that it'll stay in place. And I need to do a better job than I did before. There we go, that's on pretty tight. I designed this system so that all of these things are plug and play so we can just plug the old wire into the new wire. I can't do this with one hand but then they just plug in like that. See, there we go. So now if I wanted to upgrade this to where I get a different 24 volt pack, or if I wanted to go back to 12 volt, all I need to do is disconnect this wire and I don't need to rewire the whole thing. I've got this whole thing modular. Let's just go inside here to check to make sure that, that is in fact working. If this is, yep. You see the light around the thing right there? It is getting power, cool. 
Now I've just got to clean up this mess. Uh, okay. Electrical thing comes up here. So I should get these guys in. Get this. Here. Then this goes back in the trunk. Here. Good. Oh, the sun is going down, so I guess we can put the solar panel away. Now, we get to clean up this mess. Put that back. Cool, electrical system is back up and running. There's a Walmart on this same block, so we just need to move our car a little bit. You know, some people, they say that they don't like watching me film while I drive, but typically my arm would just be like out here on the side of the road anyway. This isn't like more dangerous. I really only need one hand to drive. That is far more dangerous than me filming with one hand, doing that on like a side street like this. Yeah, that's way more dangerous. Oh God, it smells like rubber. It smells like rubber really bad. <sighs> yeah, so this Walmart, they will let you sleep in their parking lot, so this is totally fine. Like, I don't know, I promise. Me filming is not the problem. I am pretty sure this Walmart has an expired food section too. It doesn't have like the full like fruits and all of the fresh produce that you would get at a real Walmart, but I think it still does have like a expired bread section. Okay, I don't see any baked goods at all. So maybe they don't have a cheap bread section. So I sort of wandered off into the automotive section and check it out, they've got out of the box. We've got like a little cooler bag. You can stick stuff in it and keep your stuff cold. I bet I can keep some cold Dr. Peppers in this. This is what I was talking about though for my trash though. Getting something like this to just hang on the back of my seat or something like this. So earlier today we had to jumpstart my car. This is probably what I would recommend most people get. This is a flashlight, but it's got an 800 amp hour jump starter in it where you can just use it as a flashlight if you need to, but you can just pick one of these up at Walmart. This can jumpstart your car. This is also probably a good thing to have, something to fix a flat tire, or you can use like a repair kit like this. Yeah, I mean, like, look at this. It's $9, and you can be able to fix your own tire. You won't end up having to call a tow truck. Like, you should always have something in your car that can fix flat tires. You'll notice if you, you'll notice if, you'll notice if you guys have ever seen in my trunk, I don't carry a spare tire. I just keep that air compressor and a tire repair kit so that I can fix my tires if they break rather than having to swap for a spare. Oh, look at this. Walmart has their own brand of pretzels. It's pretzel sticks, and they're less than $3. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, it got dark fast. Huh. I guess it's like 9 p.m., so it's not even that fast. It feels like last month it was getting dark at 4 p.m. What do you guys say we just go chill on the hood of the car? Pretzel. Hmm. That's so nice outside. I know how they're able to get them so cheap. These are really thin pretzels. But I think that's good because it increases the ratio of salt to bread. And that's really where the, where pretzels come down to. It comes down to the salt bread ratio. And I think these have nailed it. You want more salt than you have bread. Like you, you, you want a taste of salt. Ah, I think I just crushed my pretzels. Back here. I'm gonna head to bed because the lights just turned themselves off. Talk to you guys tomorrow.